All right, we're at 25,000 feet, so this is going to be the rapid onset hypoxia experience. Stacy, I understand you want to do the shape box, is that correct? I'm sorry, the what box? The, the shape box. Yes, please. Okay, Bob's going to go ahead and grab that for you. And we also have another game that's based on uh, working with cards. Anybody want to volunteer for the card game? My kids have this. Joey? Okay. Yeah, your kids have that. It's uh, designed for ages 3 to 6. Do you need us to explain how to do it? God, I hope not. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see how it goes. But uh, for the card game, Joey, there's going to be a specific way that we have you do this card game. So pay attention to what Bob does here. <clears throat> He's going to pull a card off the deck, look at it, memorize the card, and then turn it away from you and turn it to, or show it everybody else in the chamber, including me up here. And then without looking at the card a second time, put it in the box under the appropriate suit and then come across the intercom and tell us what it was. Eight of Cups. So go ahead and try that once. Pull the card, look at it, memorize it, turn it around, show it to everybody else without looking at it a second time, put it in the box, come across the intercom and tell us what it was. No, nope, put it in the box first. Then tell us what it was. Jack of clubs. Exactly. So you got to follow those instructions exactly. All right, this is a memory exercise. So we want you to try that. And Stacy, even though that looks like a pretty simple thing to do, you wouldn't believe how much higher brain function it takes to perform that task, especially when you start to get hypoxic. So Bob, go ahead and empty that box out for her. All right, everybody all set? Remember, I'm going to have you turn your regulators off and normal, so when you go back on, it's going to be regulator first, all three switches up, then hold the mask to your face. All right, anybody have any questions on that? Yes. Can you just say that again? Yeah, when you recover from hypoxia for this, for this demonstration, I want you to go to the regulator first, then put the mask to your face, and then maintain that normal rate and depth of breathing, right? So the idea is to get five four or five good recognizable symptoms of hypoxia and then treat yourself. We don't want to have to tell you to do that. That's what you're here for, is to learn how to do it yourself. So, if you're all set, go ahead and drop the mask from the right-hand side. And we're leaving it in normal? Yep, it's going to be off and normal. And then go ahead and start on your task. And Joey, just talk over me if I'm talking. Just come across the intercom and tell us what that was. Five of spades. King of spades. Now your effective performance time at the, up at this altitude is about three to five minutes on the average, so we should expect people to start going back oxygen. Two of spades. You know, somewhere around that time frame. Now if I have you with clipboards, make sure you circle your symptoms as you get them. Four of spades. Yeah, don't cheat. Ace of clubs. All right, you've been off for one minute right now. Take a look at your oximeter and see where you're sitting. Four of diamonds. How are you feeling, Stacy? Lightheaded, red, uh, hot, um, harder to breathe. Yep, so feeling hot is obviously one of your symptoms. Lightheaded. Five of clubs. Pete, how are you doing down there? Not bad. Uh, not uh, dizzy. Okay. Okay, once you get a few recognizable symptoms, you might want to... Jack of hearts. How are you doing, Mike? Joey, Joey, you're at 60. What do you do? Honestly. Seven of clubs, a uh, little lightheaded, dizzy, tingly feeling. What, what do you do when you're at 60 percent? Sweaty, hot, red, tingly. Think it's time to correct, Joey? Joey. Joey. That was the seven of hearts, and uh, I'm feeling put, uh, lightheaded. Dizzy. Joey, put your switches up. All three switches up, Joey. Nice job, Mike. All three switches up. Same. Okay, Pete corrected down there. 
Stacy, do you think you need oxygen? Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, probably not. Go ahead and do that. All right, nice. Yeah, slow that breathing rate down. Slow that breathing rate down. Remember, hold that breath for three seconds. Inhale, hold it for three. Exhale, hold it for three.